oh man i can't believe that just happened so i felt like my day got off to like a super rocky start and then that happened and it just it reminds me why i love living in this country so much Good morning from Bangkok. I'm hoping the weather holds up today because I have a really fun day planned. So today I'm going to go walk and go do some exploring in a new part of the city that I haven't been to yet. It's one of my favorite things to do here and I haven't done it for quite a while. And the good thing is when you do this, you never know what kind of adventures you're going to get yourself into. So, so let's go. I don't really have an exact plan of where I want to go yet. I want to go to the other side of the river because I don't really spend that much time there. So I'm going to jump on the subway on the MRT, head across the river to the other side and just, I don't know, see where we end up. This should be quite interesting and in I've never actually taken the subway, the MRT, across to the other side of the river before, so I don't know if it goes over or under. We'll see. Well, that train ride was not interesting at all. I was hoping we'd go over the river and i get some nice shots of the river and the city as we went over, but we went under, so it was just a tunnel the whole way. Anyway, we have arrived at It's... It's... It's a... It's a... <laughs> it's a I can't even begin to read that. Anyway, this is where we are and it's raining. So I went to 7-Eleven and bought the world's smallest umbrella. It was the last one I had left, so I needed it. I'm just like collecting umbrellas at this point. This time of year, you know, you go out and it's sunny or the weather's good and then all of a sudden out of nowhere it starts raining. So another umbrella to add to my collection, but it's all good. doing these walks I've had some of my most memorable experiences here in Thailand just meeting amazing people and getting myself into really unique situations that I wasn't expecting and well other times honestly nothing happens and there's nothing that interesting but I don't think today is going to be one of those days I'm feeling good about today what the hell is going on up here No, we are all good. It's a... <laughs> oh, no, I think we're good. It's already getting interesting. There's a chicken. Rooster or whatever the hell it is. walking around and looking at all the buildings and seeing the contrast is really cool old Jesus old traditional houses here you got this giant house behind me here with a fucking scary dog in there but <laughs> love these walks <laughs> oh, no, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, so cute <laughs> Come here, come here. Hello. Come So cute. 
Wherever I go, the dogs hate me. Cats love me, but the dogs hate me. <laughs> All right, I don't think I'm gonna go that way. Well, I haven't actually ever been bitten by a dog, but sometimes I feel like it's just a matter of time. So something I'm always asked about living here is, who do I use for my health insurance or travel insurance? And I personally use Safety Wing, and actually so do all of my friends living here. I started with Safety Wing back during the pandemic, insurance and everything was compulsory back then, and Safety Wing were the best and cheapest option out there, but once that all ended, I decided to stay with them because living here, you definitely want to have insurance. This is like, yeah, exactly for that reason. I am on the Nomad Insurance, which starts at around $45. And that's both a travel and a medical insurance, which is great. It covers you for up to a quarter of a million dollars of medical expenses and also covers things like ambulances and emergency transport. Dog bites. Having the travel site is a huge bonus to me. It covers things like lost check luggage, an unforeseen event in your home country, like trip interruption, and also personal liability coverage. I'll leave a link to all the information down in the description and you can check out the website. It's got all the inclusions, exclusions, and everything you need to know there. But check out Safety Wing and stay safe when you travel or living abroad. Stay away from those damn dogs. Oh, well, it's delicious. I just stopped and got a little tea. Mm. Mm. Just got a little iced tea thing. It's really good. Coffee cup. Mm. So I asked one of the local motorbike taxi guys where was the best place to get lunch around here because they always know that's that's my hot tip is ask the bike taxi guys and the tuk-tuk drivers they always know where the best food is so they recommended this place which is just like a little shack type thing looks like it's a total family business which is really nice the mom and daughter are here they're lovely and I'm dying to try this I ordered at La Bull with sticky rice one of my favorite things to eat Oh my god, he's right. That's amazing. Really, really good. Look at Aloy Mark. Aloy Mark. Aloy Mark. Aloy Mark. Mm. Bye bye. Selfie. Selfie. Okay, okay. Thank you so much, Kofunga. Bye bye. Bye bye. Wow. That was absolutely amazing. I can't believe it. Oh man, I can't believe that just happened. So I felt like my day got off to like a super rocky start. And then that happened. And it just it reminds me why I love living in this country so much. So not only was that food amazing, and it was, that, that Labmu was really good. I need to go find the taxi driver and thank him for the tip, but the people in there were an absolute delight. I was chatting to them, we took selfies. They thought it was cool that I was a YouTuber and they were chatting to me. The little girl was practicing her English with me. And at the end of it all, when I went to go sort out what I had to pay, they're like, don't worry about it, which just blew my mind. The people here are so friendly and this isn't actually the first time something like that's happened to me. I had once I had a lady pay for my lunch while I was out shooting a video as well. Just random, a random lady paid for my lunch. And this is the experiences that I was talking about when I say, when I go out and go explore these different neighborhoods, these amazing things seem to happen. And God, I can't, I can't believe the friendliness of some people. I just I feel awesome.
from God. Bye bye. bye. Thank you. <laughs> that was hilarious. Uh, the ladies on the boat were hilarious. So when I got on, I asked them in Thai how much it was to go to where I wanted to go. And they said, the lady said back to me in Thai, she said, 16 baht, handsome man. And I didn't say anything, I just handed her exactly 16 baht and just said, wow. Turned to a friend and said, wow, fucking cool in Thai. And then I cracked up laughing and she's like, huh, do you understand? I said, yeah, I understand. Hilarious, we're all laughing, having a great time. Super nice people. So I have come around to a place called Jack's Bar. This is one of my favorite bars in the whole city. You can sit right here on the river. It's really nice this time of day as the sun's going down. So I'll leave a Google Maps link for this place in the description. And also one for my lunch, if you happen to find yourself in that area. Go check out that spot that I had lunch because that food was absolutely amazing. But for now, I'm gonna enjoy this beer. Cheers.